Yeah. Okay. So, so far, did you understand anything from what I said? Um, yes, I did. Okay. So, this line can be simplified in this way. We can create a variable called result. And we can say result is A multiplied to B. And then we can say return result. Like okay. that. So if you see that this is um, simple for you, then you can use it like this. If you see that this is more simple and for and easy for you to remember, you can also use it. So the same if you do addition, you can also do the same here. Put addition and use the same code here. So you can do the operation and store it to a variable and then take that variable and return it back. So when we return back something, um, we need to catch it somehow. So if I call add, and then I pass 5 and 10. So I, I, when I call add like that, I have two choices. I can either output like that. So whatever is returned from the addition, I will just immediately print it to the screen. If not, then uh, I have another option, which is to store it somehow. I can say R or RES equal add like that, five and 10 like that, okay? So it means that whatever going to be returned by that uh, method or function, I will store it in this variable name. And I can later uh, use it to print, or I can just keep it stored like that. It's up to me. Did you understand um, anything from here now? Uh, yes. Really? I can proceed? Yes. OK, that's excellent. OK. So OK. Um, I will try to give you that as an exercise. So, okay, let me see here. Let me see here. I would like you, yeah. Okay, uh, we would go to one of the topics that is required in your exam which is to actually, let us go to the queues here, collection queues. Um, yeah. I think, wait, uh, give me a second. I would like to see where I, yeah. Yes, yes. So um, this is the, the document that you passed to me. You passed me one uh, one image and it has the topics yeah. that will come to your exam, right? So do you see that topic? Explain arrays as, yeah. a, as a static st stacks. So that that actually um, I need to show you so, something here. So um, we use arrays to actually um, make stacks, and we also will use arrays to make queues. Okay. So I will explain that. Uh, actually, we also need to use methods. So here. I will show you what each method do. Uh, do you still remember when we have a stack? We have three standard operations. Push, do you remember what the push do? Uh, yes. Okay, can you try it, to recall back? Yes, tell me what it does. It puts elements into it. Okay. Uh, 
Emperor, do you drink coffee? Uh, no. It's not healthy, right? For your age. So how, how old uh, are you? Yeah. I'm 17. Okay, but it's good that you don't drink coffee. Okay, it's not good. It's not good to keep drinking. Okay, so uh, push is pushing something inside our stack, right? And then yeah. if, if we have 5, 10, 11. So what does pop, pop do? Um, it removes any element in the stack. Okay, it removes it from here or from here? Um, from above. Yes, excellent. Yes. So, okay. Do you remember if the stack is FIFO or LIFO? So, first and first out and last and first yes. out. Yes. Yes. So, which one is the stack? Uh, this one or this one? Last, first out. Last in, first out, or first in, first out? Which one is the stack? The I one or two? It's last. This one? Uh, the second one. Second one. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, yes, you're correct. Yes, correct. You are tired, but you have some focus. Okay, that's good. So what about is empty? So it checks if the stack has any elements in it or not. Excellent. Okay, so is full. It checks, this is two new things that uh, we have to implement together, okay? So is full is checking if the, if the stack is full, but this is not in the dynamic stack. So I want to tell you, so far, um, collections, um, stacks, queues, and later we will study linked list this is called dynamic structure. So a dynamic structure, it means that there is no limit to the amount of elements that you can insert inside a dynamic structure. A dynamic structure have a limit, have an external limit that is exposed by the computer itself. So the computer is, when the memory of the computer finish, then we can no longer, in this, uh, uh, insert elements inside a dynamic structure. But 1D array and 2D arrays, okay, is a static structure. It means that when we create the 1D array, we create it with a fixed size. So we create an array with a 10 elements or we create a 2D array with maybe 100 elements and that is fixed. We, can, we cannot change the size of a 1D array or a size of a 2D array while we are running. We have to stop the code, we have to adjust the size and then run the code again. But for the stacks, queues, link it in, a linked list, sorry. And uh, for collections, this is all dynamic. It means that whenever we need a space, they allocate the space for us. But here, you need to fix the space that you need before you run. Uh, did I make it clear? Because that is also one of the requirements in your exam. To understand the difference between a dynamic structure and uh, a static structure. So let me just share with you this one. Do you see this array? This is an array. This is a 1D array. Do you see that before I even deal with the array, I have to allocate a space for it. When I allocate a space, it means that this is my limit. I cannot insert more than this element. So how many, can you count how many zeros inside here? Uh, 10. Okay, so I say the size here is 10 and it is fixed. So a 1D array have a fixed size. In collection, you do not, specify uh, the size up front, okay? Uh, you can keep adding items or in the stack, you can uh, keep pushing items inside 
there is no limit in the queue you can still keep pushing uh, keep in queuing items um without a limit so again like i told you the limit is when the memory of the computer is full but here the limit is 10 you already fix it so you have no relation how the memory can can uh, have a space you just say i want 10 they will give you 10. did you understand so far what i say so this is checking the size of the array um this is not checking the size but wait i think you are confused in, in this i am just showing you that before we start to use the array in any operation we have to allocate a space for, or we have to say, what is the size of the array? So by putting zeros here, I reserve a place in the memory or in the RAM for this S array. I reserve how many space? I reserve 10 elements, a space for 10 elements, okay? And that will be fixed. I cannot increase it anymore. Let me share with you the difference between let me see here. This is queues. I need to share with you the comparison table. Yeah. So, can you still hear me? Hello. Uh, yes. Okay. I yes. would like, can you please, I want you to read on your own the difference between a dynamic and a static data structure. Okay. Can you read the, the difference here? So, read here from this side first, one by one. Okay, so this is the dynamic array on this side? Yes, this is a dynamic. Okay. And here is the So the array that we've been doing, are those dynamic or were they static? Sorry again, I didn't get you. So the array that we've done till now, it's a static. It dynamic? 1D arrays static? and 2D is static. Okay. Are you reading? Uh, yeah, so why do we need to use like dynamic arrays? Why? That is a good question. Um, can you read the advantage? Yeah. So oh, it, okay. it make an efficient use of the memory. But look at this. This is the disadvantage of the static. It potentially wastes memory space. So, okay, in the array, before I start to uh, run the code, I already reserve a place for 10 elements. So what if I needed 11 elements so what what if you are um maybe uh how to say if you're making an array that carry all the elements that a, a client or a customer uh going to buy from a store so if you say i want to uh, to say that every customer um will have 10 elements or 10 products to buy what if he decide to buy 12 products or 20 products what are you going to do it means that your array will not be enough to carry or store the customer products right so, but if you have a dynamic structure it means that you don't know upfront how much space that you need to reserve every time so i, I would like to share with you that uh, code again where is the collections let us have a look oops no, not this one. I would like to search for the collections. Okay. So if we have a look at the collection, we have Okay, I think here. So as you can see here, did you ever check here this is assume that this is um this is the operation that we are able to do 
on the collection. We get next, reset next, add item is empty, has next. So we're not talking about size at all. In the arrays, we talk about size. Here, we only check if it is empty or it have next, if it reach the end. And we don't care about the size because the size is, is not limited. It means that whenever I need more space, I can just say add item. If I don't need the item anymore, so I do, I just do nothing here. Okay. So, but in the arrays, uh, I'm limited by the size. Even in, in your loop, you need to take care of the index and the index need to be length minus one. If you reach uh, the length, you, you get an error because you are trying, if you have an array like that, if you try to, to access the place outside the index, you will have an error. Am I clear or is it? confusing to you. Uh, Amper, I think it's confusing. Are you saturated? Yeah, I think this is a little confusing. Okay, it is a bit confusing. May I know which area is confusing? Is it that the collection itself is a dynamic, a, a dynamic um, uh, storage space or dynamic structure is it this is the concept that's confusing or or which area exactly is confusing so collections are they always dynamic always always it is a structure that is always dynamic yes because we never we never uh, need to reserve a place for um for a collection before we run it. So we run it, we run the code, we, we say that uh, we have a collection without the need um, to actually uh, know the size upfront. But with other structures like arrays, we need to know the size upfront. So can you please see here? Have a look at this, please. So this is uh, surnames. I created a collection and then I keep inserting items. And then I said reset index, and then I start to loop. But you cannot do that. This is not how you insert something inside an array. If you want to insert something inside an array, you need always a loop because you will be always afraid to exceed the limit or to exceed the end. This is, if, assume that this is zero, one, two, and this is the last element in the array. You're always afraid to exceed that limit. But here you are not afraid. You keep adding items. You keep adding items forever. But here you cannot do that. You cannot say array. So if you, if you reserve an array like that, that have 0, 0, 0. So 0, 0, 0 means that we have a, we reserve it a place in the memory that can carry three. This is the RAM. We reserve, we reserve it three spaces here. Okay. We put zero, zero, zero. Okay. Four have something else. It doesn't have an array. So we reserve it three places. And then if I say, if this array, if I say here, array, Four, this is an error. I cannot put five in the index four. Index four belongs somewhere else. Is it clear or still confused? No, I get it. So in arrays, you have to reserve a space if you have to put new elements in. Yes. So if you know that you need four elements, so you need to reserve a place for four elements. But in collections, you don't need to do that. It is a dynamic structure. It's you need it to contain more items. You just call add item and it do the reserving for you. It will reserve a, a new place in the memory to accommodate the items that you need to add. It does the job for you. You don't have to really worry about the size of the collection up front. But in the array, no, you have to really worry about the size up front. Before you start adding to the array, 
you need to know am i putting in the correct place am i exceeding the size of the array or the length of the array but in collections you don't need to do that in stacks you don't need to worry about um, the size up front in queues also you don't need to worry you you can just keep calling push this is the stack you say do push and you put zero put dot push put one dot push and put two nobody can stop you you keep pushing keep calling push keep calling push non stop it's okay if for the queue you keep selling in queue and you put 10 you put 11 and so on okay okay so, so even stacks are dynamic yes tax dynamic because we did you ever see that in a stack we have to care about uh, um, a loop that have an index you can see have a look let us have a look here how we loop through a stack stack here so see this is the loop that we do for stacks so always always we say loop while not is empty so this is what we care about we only care that so this is how we insert items inside a stack we keep inserting items like that forever you can keep pushing items no problem you are not limited to any space and when you want to loop you are always looking is it the stack is still full or is it empty if it is not empty you can pop you can remove something if it is empty you cannot remove anything inside am i right so you will find that the queue and the stack always use loop while. Okay. Am I clear so far or is it still confusing to you? No, that makes sense. Okay. So uh, what I want to do with you now is um, I got something to do. I got some calls to, to, to get. Um, in 20 25 minutes at maximum so i will do that and if you want us to continue because i i plan that um, um 70 minutes but um, but because maybe you responded late so that eats from the time that i allocated for you so uh, if you would like uh, we can rest for 25 minutes and then we can continue for maybe another half an hour if you are able if you are not able, then we stop like that. What do you want? Um, I just have another class at 7.30 over here, so in another 15 minutes. Oh, really? So okay. I, okay. So, so, just gonna... so we, we stop for today like that? Uh, yes. Okay. That's, that is uh, totally fine. But then um, are you confirmed that we get a class tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Then uh, see you tomorrow. Then I will try my best to pass you uh, exercises today. Okay. Yes, I'll do those. Okay. All the best for you. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.